templates. I've been getting quite a few questions. I'm at startbootstrap.com, and here's the uh, here's the template template that I'm going to use right here. Uh, it's pretty cool if you look at it. I'll just do a live preview here. This is a one-page parallax, which is actually kind of cool, but um, you can use this one if you want. Of course, this is not your work. You have to replace some of this. But um, uh, so I've downloaded that. Um, basically, if you go back, you can download it right here. Okay. And what's going to happen is you're going to get a folder. Okay. Let me bring that out. Actually, you'll get a zip file and you'll unzip that to this. Okay. Now, guys, this is real important here. This is always the home page. Index is always the home page. Okay, and inside here you're going to see all those images that were for the portfolio. Okay, we got the thumbnails. Okay, so that's not your work. You're going to have to replace that stuff. Okay, um, so get your uh, images together and find out what image size these are. I mean, it'll tell you right there. And so just go into Photoshop and make your images the same size so that it pops right into the portfolio. Okay, so let's say that we want to uh, edit this. Now, the ones you're going to really want to look at, you don't want to mess with the JavaScript or the less, but the CSS, you guys should know how to edit CSS as well as the HTML. Now, this is one page, so if you have more than one page, you're going to have more than one HTML file to edit, but this is just one page. So I'm just going to open this in Dreamweaver. Okay, so here it is in Dreamweaver, and uh, the live uh, version of it may not look exactly what it's supposed to look like. It can do some weird things because there is some responsiveness on it. So right now I'm in split view in Dreamweaver, and I just want to kind of show you uh, how this relates to what you should have learned in the previous class, okay? You can kind of see here, here are the rollover states um, for, for the links, okay? And so if we take a look up at the top, guys, this is the HTML for this page, all right? So you can go in and edit anything you need to there in terms of copy or whatever. You see it right there. It's right there, okay? Also, you have the CSS files up here, all right? Uh, if we go to... Uh, let's go here. You can see here's the CSS for some of the pop-ups, all right? And you're like, well, how do I figure out what's what? Well, in Dreamweaver, if you click on a div tag or click on a container, it'll tell you what you need to go edit, okay? Like right there. So that's the header content enter right there. Or if you just want to go in and edit text, you can do that. Just go in and edit your text there, okay? Um, now, one of the things you're going to want to do is make sure that you define this site. So right now, it's looking in the wrong folder. So uh, one of the things you should do is to, uh, I'm going to manage my site. So uh, basically what that's going to do is I'm going to create a new site. Okay. And what this has to do is it has to look in that correct folder. Okay. So I'm just going to call this, let's just call it my portfolio and if you're using Dreamweaver you have to do this. This is called defining the site. So it's my portfolio. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna go browse for that for that uh, folder and it's right there. That's the one I'm using. Okay, so I'm gonna choose that. Now Dreamweaver will know where to find everything. It'll start updating uh, the cache hit done you'll see it populate here okay so here are all the files that are associated with this website okay and again here's the CSS files here are the images that you'll need to edit for your content and then go in and just edit this content here okay whatever you want to do um, and if you page down you'll see uh, some of the other uh, images that you'll need to go in and replace. Change the colors, okay? 
Anytime you want to find something, you can see it right here. Here is here's the spec for that CSS right there. You can find it in the CSS. Uh, you're probably going to find one CSS file that's going to contain most of the editing. Okay, and uh, and then you're going to of course want to save it often. Um, and here, let's just do. I'm just going to do a quick preview. Preview in Google Chrome, just so you can kind of see how it's working. Okay, it should pull up possibly. Okay, and some of the stuff I've changed is right there. I can change the background image. I can change these images right here. I can change this text. That's all HTML. All right, so that's an easy way to use a Bootstrap starter template. Now, there's quite a few on the web. Find one that uh, that you can get in and edit and work with. Okay, um, so download the the template. Open up the index page. Go in and look at the code, find the HTML you want to change, find the CSS you want to change, add in your portfolio images, and keep it all in that folder. Remember, you want to make sure you define your site. Basically, you're going, I'm up here, you probably can't see it, but I'm under Site, and I'm under Manage Sites. And I want to make sure that that, that uh, folder is defined as my website. I have some other sites I'm working on, but that is your site and what's going to happen is it's going to populate with all the files over here okay so that should help you guys out for learning how to you know use uh, those templates okay